Hello, Anna. Hello. So today we will discuss how to manage uh, various social media profiles Mm -hmm. using uh, Google Chrome mm -hmm. uh, by using the uh, function that allows you to have various profiles. And on each profile, we will have one set of social media accounts. So instead of having to, um, in one window, to uh, log on, log off, switch um, account for each social media before posting, all you have to do is to, um, before you start to set up uh, one profile on Chrome, Per, uh, social media account profile. So, for example, in our case, we have social media accounts in um, on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for various languages. We have one set of accounts for uh, French, one set of accounts for English, uh, and more. So, you can actually manage it more easier using Google Chrome, and uh, we will see that now. Okay, are you ready? Yes, of course. So, let's share my screen, mm -hmm. and tell me when you can see my screen. Uh huh. Yes. So, so here actually, I even have, so I, I did it already for uh, French and Russian, and I have uh, even desktop shortcuts. So oh. when I uh, open, for example, Russian here, it directly opens me a window with the free accounts. Uh, so of course, the page, the page just has to, has to load, but I don't have to uh, log in again. So here I am having my account. Uh, Facebook account in Russian, my Instagram account in Russian, and my uh, Russian Twitter account. I don't have to log in uh, or off. And if I close the window, I just close my whole Russian social media accounts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I just open it and uh, I have them right, right away. So I did it also for French, mm -hmm. but for French, I didn't yet check an option. And I will show you after that it's very important to do it. So when you start the window, you already have the tabs open to the social media and you just have to upload right away. So it saves you a lot of time. Uh, you don't have to switch accounts, make sure you're on the right one, blah, blah, blah. Whenever you need to post in one language, you just open the profile that corresponds to the language and you use it. So for example, if I open uh, uh, any Google Chrome account a window, here on the top right, I have the uh, icon of the profile. Mm -hmm. And here I, I can see all the profiles I have. So. I have one for my uh, Malrafine profile, one for my uh, dog uh, uh, social, one for my uh, travel social. This is a personal one. Uh, well, I have, um, uh, this is a YB Digital. Actually, mm -hmm. it's uh, not the right label. So it's English accounts. Here it's the personal one. Here's the French one. And I am already on the Russian one, so I don't see it here. But for example, now I can click on add. So here again, I can see the accounts I have and I can add a new one. So for example, I can continue without an account. Mm -hmm. So if I sign in, it will sign in with the corresponding Google account, but we don't have a separate Google account for each social media profile. Mm -hmm. So what we do is continue without an account. So here, for example, I want to create the uh, German one. So here I put uh, the name of our uh, German, um, German persona. I can uh, select uh, an avatar just to differentiate it. So for example, German... Uh, is more yellow or black. So let's take the black uh, vinyl and I select the black color. So um, I, also visually, I will see, for example, I chose a yellow for uh, Russian. Here I, I will have black for, um, for German. So, and here also select to create a desktop shortcut. So I will, uh, I will have this on the desktop as we saw for French and uh, Russian and done. Um, and here I am in a new window that will be only used, uh, I will only use for uh, Russian social media, uh, for German, I mean. Uh -huh. So I, I will not do it here because I have to log in and enter passwords and everything, but I will show you uh, in French. So sure. if I open my French profile, I have already logged in. So now I just have to open the tabs. So for example, I open Facebook, I open Instagram, and uh, you can see here I am logged in on the French account without doing anything. Here, I am uh, logged in also on my French persona, mm -hmm. right? It's still Chrome. It's just another profile. And I have other sessions. And the same for Twitter. I open my Twitter. And mm -hmm. I already logged in here to my French uh -huh. account. And I have, I a have no other Twitter account. Yeah? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. So uh, what about uh, Meta Business Suite? So it also can be, I can open it like window by window for each language. Yeah. Yes, it is the same. Yeah, it is the same. It keeps. So if you go to business.facebook.com, it is the same because the session is different. Uh -huh. So I just have to select 
yeah. uh, which one I want to use. So the French one. Mm -hmm. And always keep it in French for the French uh, Google. So yeah? this is only in French. Uh -huh. And this is the option that you must also select. You must go in settings. Mm -hmm. uh, here go on, on startup. Mm -hmm. And on startup, select continue where you left off. So you get all the tabs. So one tab per social media account already open. So you just open uh, um, the, from the shortcut, the profile in uh, for your uh, set of social media accounts. So mm -hmm. for us, it's divided by language, but it could be for some other people by brand or uh, by client, uh, okay. whatever. So for us, okay. for example, it's by language. Okay. And select here, continue where you left off. Mm -hmm. So now... We'll try right away. So if I close the French, I open again. Here, I have Meta Business Suit directly in French. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. It, let, let's let's try uh, for Russian mm -hmm. because I already uh, logged in all accounts. So uh, business.facebook.com. So first I have to select Russian and let's see if it was working. So this is our Russian persona. Let's let it uh, load the page just to make sure mm -hmm. it's working. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So now let's close it and let's open the French window again here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here you see the French is on French. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. The Twitter, it's our uh, Yo Numeric French account. Mm -hmm. Instagram here, it's our Yo Numeric account. Facebook, it's our Yo Numeric account. Mm -hmm. So instead of switching account, which takes time and can lead to mistakes, especially mm -hmm. when you when you deal with a lot of different social media, you go from one to another. Yeah. Just have one window per persona. So for us, it's a one per language. Mm -hmm. But again, it could be a brand, it could be a client, it could be anything. And the same now, if I reopen Russian, here, you see, I have business suit only for the Russian account. Mm -hmm. If I select Twitter, it's also our Russian account, Siflovoy EM. Instagram, the same. Mm -hmm. And Facebook, the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, cool. So then it, it's it's much faster than to uh, post on uh, social media um, mm -hmm. for one uh, one set of, uh, uh, of social media accounts that are the grouped for uh, whatever brand, project, uh, client, uh, or, or whatever you do. And... Yeah, well, then you just have to open the Google Chrome profile, post on the social media accounts, close it, go to the next one, done. Mm -hmm. Fine. No it questions? will make uh, work uh, easier, of course, and faster. Yes, it, it should uh, normally save, uh, not only save some time, uh, because when you switch to an account, you have to... Uh, like where is it or, uh, on Facebook it's here so you have to select uh, the shortcut or you have to find the shortcut you have to wait for it to load uh, it's very simple also to make mistake to click on the wrong one when you click on the wrong one you have to wait for a few seconds to load and it, it can uh, yeah it can lead to mistakes sometimes you post on another one you didn't even notice you did you forgot to switch account or the switch didn't work for some reasons it happens so uh, it saves some time, it avoids mistakes, uh, it organizes your work better. Mm -hmm. Great. Good. And it uh, makes it uh, makes it uh, more simple. And uh, I think also it feels it feels uh, le less uh, tiring because um, yeah, when you have to post on various social media accounts for various clients or projects or, or brands or whatever you do, uh, it can be confusing. Mm -hmm. Plus, also, for example, on Twitter, you can only uh, add, uh, manage five accounts at a time. So, uh, for example, for someone that manages, uh, I don't know, social media accounts, uh, Twitter accounts for 20 clients, actually, that's one uh, preferred way to do it. Because on one uh, session, one uh, window, they can only have uh, five accounts. Mm -hmm. Instagram, I don't know if it's limited, but probably it is. And actually, uh, Meta Business Suit uh, is also limited to uh to 10 accounts so uh, if i want to add a business account no uh like last time i wanted to add one and they told me that i uh, i am nearly at the limit of uh, uh, how many accounts i can manage mm -hmm. so that's one way uh, on computer only in a web browser using chrome uh, to organize better and uh, 
and to manage as many accounts as possible. Yeah. And for example, you can have um, shortcuts on your desktop. You can also pin uh, pin them here. So for example, you can pin uh, one persona here, pin another persona there. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do. Here I have um, my uh, main uh, business account. Here I have my personal Chrome window. Uh, this one is the German one with the German social media accounts. And uh, yeah, so you can organize how you want, but it should save some uh, time and avoid mistakes. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yeah. Perfect. So yeah. now uh, let's get back to work. Yes, thank you so much. I'll try it and uh, I'll say whether it works for me or not, but I'm sure that it will make my work easier and with fewer mistakes and so on and so forth. Thank you so much. Thanks to you. Ciao.